icons are a great way to make your videos more engaging, effective, and expressive. I'm going to take you through a quick example of how you can use icons to elevate your content. Here we are in the Camtasia editor looking at a slide that has four ideas for increasing revenue. And I want to use a check mark to signify which of these options we are going to choose. To get the check mark, I am going to use the TechSmith assets for Camtasia service. And I can get to that site by going to the library tab and clicking here where it says download more assets. This takes me to the assets website where I can choose from a variety of assets including templates, the stock video, images, audio. In this case, I want to download icons. So I will click images and icons and I arrive on this page here. Now there are starter assets which are free as long as you have a TechSmith account. And we have premium, which require an annual subscription to the TechSmith assets for Camtasia service. Now I'm looking for a check mark, so I'm gonna scroll through this page, uh, looking for some different types. And I can hover over any of these to get a preview of what all of the different assets look like. In this case, I am looking for a check mark, and there's a few here. We have these circles, some with different colors, and we also have these ones that look more like stickers. I think I like these here, so I will select the option to send to Camtasia. And it's asking me for permission, so I will say open Camtasia. And it says that it was successfully imported, so I'll click OK. And I can find those check marks by clicking in this library drop down and scrolling through this list, and it's called check marks. And I think I like this one here, and I'll just click and drag it onto the canvas and resize it to whatever size I like. That looks pretty good, and if you have it selected and you look over on this right side, we have the option to change the colors. So why don't I change this? I'll choose yellow, that looks great. And you can also see that I can change the color of the check mark itself or the outline as well. So that looks great. And this is a nice visual cue that helps reinforce that this is the option that we've selected. And I could just leave it like this with this icon showing next to number three. But I think what will be even more impactful will be if I also animate it. What I could do is I could come over here and go to animations and use custom. So I would use a custom animation if I was looking to animate it from either one specific part of the screen to another or from one size to another. But if I just want to animate it in a way where it fades in or, or comes in, behaviors is an easier option for me. You can see some different options here and they sort of preview as you scroll over them. The one that I am going to choose, I think I'm going to choose fly in. So I'll click and drag it onto the icon. And the in is what happens at the very beginning of the clip. So you can see that that's fly in. During is what happens in the middle. And I don't want anything happening, so this is perfect. And out is what happens at the end of the clip. So I can have it fly out. In this case, I'm just going to have it fade out. So let's see what that looks like. And that's a nice, that's a really nice effect. It looks like it's coming off the screen and then it's landing right next to the option that we want to choose. This is just an example of how you can use an icon to reinforce your subject matter and to add visual interest to your content. Thanks for watching.